A ventilator is a device used to support breathing. It is utilized when there's difficulty breathing or when spontaneous breathing has stopped. Although there are a number of different types of ventilators to consider, the two major delivery methods are called non-invasive and invasive ventilation. Join me this week as I discuss some common myths associated with each type of ventilation. Life support refers to medical intervention used to sustain or support a failing bodily function. Non-invasive ventilation supports a person's breathing needs by pushing high-pressure air into the lungs. Without using the device, the person is at risk for dying. There are two types of non-invasive ventilation. They are CPAP and BiPAP. A CPAP machine is often used in individuals with obstructive sleep apnea. When the person falls asleep, the airway collapses and blocks air from entering the lungs. A CPAP machine pushes high-pressure air into the airway, keeping them open and allowing air to reach the lungs. Without using the CPAP device, the person may die when his airway is blocked. A BiPAP machine is often used in individuals with neuromuscular diseases. With this medical condition, the person's respiratory muscles are weak. The individual is not able to properly inhale. The BiPAP works by delivering a high-pressure breath to fill the lungs. The machine then decreases the pressure to allow the air to passively exit the lungs. Although the person can breathe on his own, his respiratory muscles are not strong enough to sustain his breathing needs. Without using the BiPAP machine, the person may die. CPAP and BiPAP are both life-supporting machines. Although invasive ventilation is frequently used in the intensive care unit, this is not the only group of people who utilize this type of ventilation. Invasive ventilation is used by many people who have neuromuscular diseases such as ALS and muscular dystrophy, and individuals who have suffered a spinal cord injury. The majority of people who use CPAP and BiPAP utilize the machine by wearing a mask. This form of delivery is called non-invasive ventilation. However, there are individuals who use a tracheostomy tube and use a CPAP or BiPAP machine. When a tracheostomy tube is used, this is called invasive ventilation. This means that CPAP and BiPAP machines can be used with either invasive or non-invasive ventilation. While it is true that some people who use invasive ventilation cannot breathe on their own, there are a number of people who use invasive ventilation and retain some ability to spontaneously breathe. The length of time the person is able to breathe on his own will vary greatly from person to person. Some people may only be able to breathe a few minutes without the ventilator, while other people may be able to breathe on their own for many hours. I have a friend who has ALS. He has a tracheostomy tube and uses invasive ventilation while he sleeps. This allows his respiratory muscles to rest. During the day, he disconnects from his ventilator and is able to breathe on his own. One misconception which has baffled me for many years is the notion that someone who uses a ventilator needs a lung transplant. There are some individuals who use a ventilator while waiting to receive a lung transplant, but the vast majority of ventilator users have working lungs. The person may need a ventilator because his breathing muscles are not strong, his airway collapses during sleep, an injury has damaged the nerves needed to breathe, etc. In all these people, getting new lungs will not solve the underlying issue which impedes his ability to breathe. This means even with getting a lung transplant, the person will still require the use of a ventilator. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye.